this fly that I'm going to demonstrate is called a sucker spawn. I'm going to be using a Nymph Master 1023BL CZ Caddis hook in size 14. Now you can tie these on whatever size you want. 16s, uh, 14s, 12s, 10s. Um, your, your preference. I'm going to use a 14 today. Now this fly, I'm using the McFly foam in McCheese color and it looks like this. I'll take a, we're going to take a small strand off of that about this size right here but the first thing we're going to do is put our thread on start there at the eye and work our way back to the well end of the bend of the hook yeah I like that now let's chip clip off the excess there now we're going to run the thread back up to the toward the eye and then we're going to tie in our McFly foam. So I'm going to pinch that down and put a little wrap on and kind of pull it back away from the eye there a little bit and wrap that down well. And this stuff is somewhat stretchy so as you're tying it back to the bend pull it tight and then wrap it on down to the point where your thread was. Okay now now that that's attached we're going to make a very little loop in the back like that just kind of fold this thread over and just tie it down in place there I like to use four wraps to secure that now we're going to make another loop just a little bigger about like that and same thing you're going to tie that in right there with four wraps. And now we're going to do the same thing progressively up the hook toward the eye. Just fold it over, make a small loop, a few wraps to tie it down. And just keep progressing your way to the eye. And do it again. This is my favorite color, the McCheese for this fly for here where I live. Seems to give me the best, the best success rate. You can tie this in it whatever color you want. It's like I said, this is just my my favorite color. Now we'll go up here to the top. Go ahead and make a little head there. And let's whip finish it. I'll use two sets of four or so. And I'll cut off the excess of your thread there. And I'll take the this piece and stretch it a little bit and kind of go up at a slight angle off the point of the hook and trim it off and there it is a sucker spawn now you can tie these in whatever color you want to here's here's some examples there's a orange There's a hot pink. And an apricot. These are just some of the colors you can tie. Um, your preference is what, what you like. It's a very it's a good fly. Uh, I went down locally fishing the other day with one and had a quite a successful day fishing it. I caught 12 fish and 9 of the 12 were caught on one of these as the suckers are, are spawning in the rivers here now. So if you like this video, 
please hit the like button and subscribe to us. And you can stay tuned for a new fly every week. Some of them will be simple like this. Others will be more difficult. All the flies that I tie on my videos are flies that I have had success fishing with. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.